Bates falls to St. Lawrence here at the Mustang Classic. Glenn Clark with Bobcats coach Dan Anino. Coach, I, I know you'd rather be talking about a win. Can you take something from the fight that your guys gave this top 10 team for two and a half quarters here today? Yeah, I think you uh, you hit the nail on the head. You know, I think we proved a lot to ourselves. You know, we can play um, – with a team that's everything um, that a top 10 team is. I think St. Lawrence is one of the best teams we've seen on film so far this year. And um, I think we proved that we can play with a group like that. We just got to find some consistency, especially down the stretch, and, and learn how to win those games. Dan, what stood out today, obviously, was the play of your goalie. I, I know it's tough when you face a lot of shots in a season. Sometimes guys can be rattled by that, and it can be daunting for them. How has he stood through all of that and continued to play at a high level for you? Yeah, I mean, Garrett, uh, you know, couldn't say enough about him as um, certainly a, a really good goaltender, but um, he's a leader for us. He's a captain for us, um, you know, and I think his leadership shines through as much as anything. Um, you know, he's a kid who loves lacrosse and, and as goalies tend to do, he's a guy who, who kind of relishes seeing a lot of rubber at times. And, you know, we got to do a better job of helping him out. But, you know, I think all that his character brings um, showed through today and, and his leadership is as valuable as anything. What's your message to your guys? I know it's got to be, you know, dejecting to be at this point in the season and still not have picked up a win yet. But, you know, to, to take the good in order to be able to build off of that as you move towards conference play. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think, one, we got to certainly recognize the challenge that we faced, you know, five games and four top 12 opponents. You know, we certainly didn't uh, make lives easy on ourselves in scheduling, but we want to be challenged and we want to we want to play against the best. So I think we learned a whole lot about ourselves. Um, I think we've gotten better in every game. Uh, and, and like I said earlier, we just got to find ways to get consistency on all sides of the ball for 60 minutes. And for you, this first time here as a head coach at the Mustang Classic, just – you know, what this means to to not just, you know, Division three lacrosse, but lacrosse in general to have been here this weekend. Yeah, I mean, it's it's such a great event. Um, you know, it, it truly is a showcase of, of, you know, the premier lacrosse in the Division three world. And, you know, I think it gives guys an opportunity um, to play on a big stage. And, you know, I think you see what the lacrosse has been played here so far this weekend. Like it's it's a level of lacrosse that deserves to be on a big stage. And um, we're just we feel really lucky. I feel really fortunate to be able to to be a part of this. It, it is such a special event for, for lo, the lacrosse world. Coach, I'm sure there will be wins here in future years for you. I appreciate we, it. We're happy to have you here at Stevenson. Thank you for joining us and best of luck moving forward this season. Thanks so much. He's Dan Anino. I'm Glenn Clark. This is the Mustang Classic.